Welcome to Press Club Fixes. This is Muhammad Haroun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today we have 2011 BMW 328i with car shutting off when the system is hot. Like when you drive the car for 20, 30, 40 minutes, when it becomes hot, the system will shut down. Uh, we did a diagnostic on this car and we found a code related to a fuel control module. The fuel control module, this car here, it is not really on and off but it have a complete module that control the fuel pump speed based on the demand from the engine computer on the drive system. When you're driving, there is some place you need to put a load, the fuel pump can, uh, can speed up or it give you more RPM on the fuel pump so that it can compensate the demand of the engine or the drivability issue there. Now, uh, we went there and we get a brand new um, fuel pump control module. How it look like this? This is a fuel control module. Where it's located, is located in this area here. Let me show you, this is the car. And this one here for almost all kind of uh, car with the same year for you. So this is, uh, this is uh, the, the year model of the car, as you see here. The location of this fuel pump control module, open the seat, bottom, turn it upside down and go all the way to that place. You see that place there? That's the place of the fuel pump, that's the old one. We're gonna put this one in. Can you come and connect it? or put it in, disconnect that one and then you know like you have two wire that going to the fuel pump and some power coming from the ignition and some power from the communication is very very hot and also don't forget the. this is the only way uh, to get rid of the heat you have to tighten it into the car because the heat is gonna go into the uh, into the car body you know that this is a computer if you are familiar with all kind of computers, whether it's a laptop, desktop, any computer, the theory is the same. Inside here, we have the ROM, we have like um, the, the central processing unit. We have a we don't have fan to cool it down the system, but we have like this string, this aluminum piece. It will take all the the heat out of it, and when you tie it to the car, it, it transfers this heat into the body of the car and reduces the heat while this module is working. This why do not let it hang out, it will wear. You have to put it in a place to, to, to sink the heat out. Those are the wires. This two here is for output to the fuel pump. We have input from the ignition switch. But when you put it in, it will not work. You have to program it, you have to code it. So right now we are going in using our auto hex platform. I'm gonna turn the key on, read the information of the car. If you don't code it, the car may start and shut off right away. Like now the car is start. You see, it doesn't go, you know, it shut off right away. I'm gonna try it again. You see, it doesn't work. So what we need to do, we have to code it. Have an internet ready. Ignition on, I'm gonna click on coding or programming. I just go to coding. You can go to programming also, the same thing. E90, 2011, that the car now it will read or communicate with all the module ignition have to be on sometimes the coding or the programming will not work if the if the voltage is low pop the hood. let me put a charger okay i'm gonna put the hood uh, pop the hood up down in here trunk, the trunk. trunk so we're gonna put a charger you see here now we're gonna look for the same letter that is here in this place the letter at least is sample e k p m3 then we're gonna look for it slowly. Okay, it's here. This is the piece. It's already updated. So we don't need to do anything here and it's normal. So I'm gonna exit this one. I will go to coding. Coding. Now we're gonna go here. 
the same module that we look for it fuel pump ready for encoding look at it you say ready for encoding ready for encoding ready for encode look like this car have a lot of coding but let's go you will get a code you see fuel pump what the VIN number there in the car The last three VIN number. The last? Yeah, 970. The last one? Uh huh. The last one? The last three code. 970. Okay. Sorry to touch you there. Yes. Wouldn't be able to deal with this um, Sienna today, you know? Why? Because the whole intake got to come off. Yeah, of course. That's, that's normal. But it wouldn't be able to deal with today. It's a long process. Okay. This guy here was going to check out. He has his window. Hold on. Going Hold on. Let me see what we can do. Let me just see one. Okay, I agree with you. So I'm gonna click coding. You see, it's encoding, encoding module, encoding module. Finalize progress. Finalize coding. Finalize coding. We have to wait. Restarting. Module encoding complete. So I'm gonna go back. Okay, now I'm gonna exit. I will turn the key off. Leave it like this for a little while. I'm gonna go to go back again for diagnose. Because when I start it, five series, right? Three series. Oh, three series because five series is E three series. E90, right? E90. Let me turn the ignition on. This is diagnosis. We're going to wait for it a little bit. Quick test. No, I'm gonna go to control module. Engine electronic, I wanna see what is there. Four codes, DME power management battery. This is history. I can delete the code here. I gotta go back. Now I'm gonna go to dynamic car access function, gateway, fuel pump control module. Supposed to be under. Electric fuel pump number 17. Full coat. No coat. Thank you. Now I'm going to start it. The car supposed to start on. Before it shut off. You see now? Perfect. Before, if you don't, if you don't program it, it will not work. Okay. Now the car is running fine. You can drive any place you go with it.